all, my name is My Hope is in Him, and I'd like to share a story with you called The Collector. Years ago, there was a very wealthy man who, with his devoted young son, shared a passion for art collecting. Together, they traveled around the world, adding only the finest art treasures to their collection. Priceless works by Picasso, Van Gogh, Monet, and many others adorned the walls of the family estate. The widowed elder man looked on with satisfaction as his only child became an experienced art collector. The son's trained eye and sharp business mind caused his father to beam with pride as they dealt with art collectors around the world. As winter approached, war engulfed the nation and the young man left to serve his country. After only a few short weeks, his father received a telegram. His beloved son was missing in action. The art collector anxiously awaited more news, fearing he would never see his son again. Within days, his fears were confirmed. The young man had died while rushing a fellow soldier to the medic. Distraught and lonely, the old man faced the upcoming Easter holidays with anguish and sadness. The joy of the season, a season that he and his son had so looked forward to, would visit his house no longer. On Easter morning, a knock on the door awakened the depressed old man. As he walked to the door, the masterpieces of art on the walls only reminded him that his son was not coming home. As he opened the door, he was greeted by a soldier with a large package in his hand. He introduced himself to the man by saying, I was a friend of your son. I was the one. He was rescuing when he died. May I come in for a few moments? I have something to show you. As the two began to talk, the soldier told of how the man's son had told everyone of his father's love of fine art. I'm an artist, said the soldier. I want to give you this. As the old man unwrapped the package, the paper gave way to reveal a portrait of the man's son. Though the world would never consider it the work of a genius, the painting featured the young man's face in striking detail. Overcome with emotion, the man thanked the soldier, promising to hang the picture above the fireplace. A few hours later, after the soldier had departed, the old man set about his task. True to his word, the painting went above the fireplace pushing aside thousands of dollars of paintings. Then the man sat in his chair and spent Easter gazing at the gift he had been given. During the days and weeks that followed, the man realized that even though his son was no longer with him, the boy's life would live on because of those he had touched. He would soon learn that his son had rescued dozens of wounded soldiers before a bullet stilled his caring heart. As the stories of his son's gallantry continued to reach him, fatherly pride and satisfaction began to ease the grief. The painting of his son soon became his most prized possession far eclipsing any interest in the pieces for which museums around the world clamored. He told his neighbor it was the greatest gift he had ever received. The following spring, the old man became ill and passed away. The art world was in anticipation. With the collector's passing and his only son dead, those paintings would be sold at an auction. According to the will of the old man, all of the artworks would be auctioned on Easter Day, the day he had received his greatest gift. 
The day soon arrived, and art collectors from around the world gathered to bid on some of the world's most spectacular paintings. Dreams would be fulfilled this day. Greatness would be achieved, as many would claim. I have the greatest collection. The auction began with a painting that was not on any museum's list. It was the painting of the man's son. The auctioneer asked for an opening bid. The room was silent. Who will open the bidding with $100, he asked. Minutes passed. No one spoke. From the back of the room came, who cares about that painting? It's just a picture of his son. Let's forget it and go on to the good stuff. More voices echoed in agreement. No, we have to sell this one first, replied the auctioneer. Now, who will take the son? Finally, a friend of the old man spoke. Will you take $10 for the painting? That's all I have. I knew the boy, so I'd like to have it. I have $10. Will anyone go higher? Called the auctioneer. After more silence, the auctioneer said, going once, going twice, gone. The gavel fell. Cheers filled the room and someone exclaimed, now we can get on with it and we can bid on these treasures. The auctioneer looked at the audience and announced the auction was over. Stunned disbelief quieted the room. Someone spoke up and asked, what do you mean it's over? We didn't come here for a picture of some old guy's son. What about all these paintings? There are millions of dollars of art here. I demand that you explain what's going on. The auctioneer replied, It's very simple. According to the will of the father, whoever takes the son gets it all. Just as those art collectors discovered on that Easter day, the message is still the same. The love of a father. A father whose greatest joy came from his son who went away and gave his life rescuing others. And because of that father's love, whoever takes the son gets it all. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Will you take the son?